It's a major milestone for the program that works to better understand bottlenose dolphins in Galveston Bay. The Galveston Bay Dolphin Research Program just cataloged its 1,000th distinct bottlenose dolphin that calls the bay home. Our Zach Lasway brings us aboard a boat where the research is being done. Have you ever seen a dolphin or a pod of dolphins? If so, you know the good it does for our mind and soul. That's a big one. For us in Houston, we are fortunate to share Galveston Bay with these highly intelligent, remarkable creatures. A lot of these dolphins are residents here, which means they'll spend their entire lives right here in Galveston Bay. How many dolphins have been cataloged? So we've cataloged 1,000 dolphins in our catalog for Galveston Bay, and those are distinct dolphins that we can identify. Not to say that that's the exact number that uses the bay, uh, because we know that there's around 800 to 1200 throughout the year that uses the bay at different times of the year. Um, but some might be residents, some might be transients. Christy Fazioli is a research associate at University of Houston Clear Lake. She is also an investigator with Galveston Bay Dolphin Research Program, a partnership between Galveston Bay Foundation and Environmental Institute of Houston. 2013. What's the purpose of this study? So we uh, monitor the dolphins long term to get baseline data and learn about how they're using the bay and uh, what habitats are important and to find out if they're thriving here. And uh, we can, that way we can keep track of them and we do what's called photo identification and take their photos of their dorsal fins and uh, that can tell us the individual animal due to nicks and notches in their fins that are unique, kind of like a fingerprint and so we can track all the individuals in the bay. Alyssa Quackenbush is a research assistant with Galveston Bay Dolphin Research Program. She's behind the camera capturing photos. Some of the adopted dolphins we saw today were Steve, um, who is our most recently named dolphin, I believe, and Calypso. Zero, one, one. Although the dolphins are cataloged by numbers, people have the opportunity to adopt and name dolphins through the program. That's a pretty small calf oh, there. she's little. So that's one that was born this year, for sure. Gestation for dolphins is one year. Calving season is typically early spring. Calves will stay close to mom for two to four years, oftentimes appearing in echelon position or swimming. This is also the time where they learn behavior, and this is why having a healthy habitat is critical. The program started in 2013, but really kicked off with regular visits in 2014. The study is continuous. Scientists are closely monitoring the impacts dredging and other industrial activities in the bay are having on dolphins. So in a statement, a scientist with the program says dredging activities can cause an increase in underwater noise, vessel activity, habitat modification, sediment suspension, and related release of toxic compounds harbored in channel sediment. All of these can have negative consequences on the health and survival of individuals and the population. So finding out more information on these activities and their impacts will help answer additional questions scientists might have. We also should mention all of this activity is done under a permit. So it is illegal to get within 50 yards of a dolphin. They're beautiful to see. Yes. Right. They're awesome to watch, but stay your distance. Right. It's like the special license when you go to wherever they allow you to swim with dolphins, these special Absolutely. programs they've got. Don't go chasing them down right. in the bay. Important population to protect. Yeah. We appreciate the research and we're jealous you got to go on that it was shoot. Amazing. It looked amazing. <laughs> <out there. laughs>